Well, here is some progress on the slab. Concrete guy came over yesterday, put all the rebar in. Starting putting some rebar back here. Going down to extend the retaining wall. We move the rocks down there. We gotta dig a trench there so that the retaining wall can be put in. And then we gotta dig this dirt. It's only maybe a couple inches thick, so I'm gonna try to get the tractor in here for that. And then we took down the retaining wall that was from the old jacuzzi. So and then this burned up dirt here is actually the back side of that, that cellar that's underneath next to the garage. So um, we're going to probably put in one of those uh, metal drain um, window wells, I think they're called. Put that there and then we can move the dirt and kind of rearrange it and stuff. So, so that's that. And then uh, I'm going to probably get one of those um, scarifiers or um, concrete grinders kind of mills up the concrete like uh, like it does when uh, you're driving over you know like um, or oh, repaved road you know before they pave it they mill up all the old stuff so it gives it that kind of texture and allows the concrete to bite a little bit better so so the curb is going to be about eight inches tall there's going to be about two inches of concrete on top of what's here now and then um, uh, the patio is going to extend the same height as what the new stuff is here. It'll extend out over, and then right here will be another eight-inch tall curb that will match up with this curb over here, and then uh, so that you're directed to walk down this way. So, so and then uh, Melanie's going to be calling in, <clears throat> calling the one fabricator that does all the railings that's um, pretty pretty cheap and see see what he charges. Um, I priced it out once before and it was um, uh, just about a break even for me welding it and um, you know, having some parts fabricated that we need fabricated, but uh, yeah, see what he charges. And uh, the curve is what concerns me. Is um, you know, I want it to be curved. Melanie said, kind of keep it straight like the other one. But if we're going to be doing it, might as well just do it all that's nicely curved. And and, uh, and then what else? These steps. I've been slowly breaking off the brick. It's not the easiest thing to do. The, <laughs> the ones that are loose pop right off. The ones that are down, they're down. So, so you know, got to see what we can do here. But uh, um, that's kind of that for now. So, so there's Lando. And there's Emma. Emma doesn't leave the yard at all anymore. So, so that's kind of that. So I'll talk to you later. All right.